Welcome to English with Loner. And of course, I'm Loner. So in this video, I'm going to help you to understand native speakers, build your vocabulary, and also speak in a more natural way. So today, we continue to learn English with the TV series named Procling Nine Nine. So first, you watch the scene with subtitles, and then, as usual, I'll pick up some vocabulary and phrases to teach you. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hey, we accidentally startled a man with a genetic heart condition. If you really think about it, his parents killed him. All right, whatever. Look, there's a horse race going off in Dubai. I got serious money on it. Dismissed. Uh, yeah, we should all check out that race. God, he is the worst captain we've ever had. He drew boobies on my bulletproof vest. He stared at me for 90 seconds while he ate an entire peach. He heard that I speak Spanish and he made me fire his housekeeper. She was Polish. At least he doesn't practice his crane kicks with you. <laughs> ah! oh! Said not to move. I didn't move. Listen, guys, Jake and I were talking last night. Hello, talk alert. Set the scene. Spooning or face to face? Charles. Anyway, we came up with a plan. Jake is going to befriend the vulture, so he lays off of us. It's true. I'm going to bro down with him. If everything goes according to plan, we should be beer pong doubles partners by the end of the week. Now somebody give me a puka shell necklace. I'm going full douche. Hello, yeah. talk alert. Set the scene. Spooning or face to face? Charles. Spooning. Face to face. These two words are used to describe the positions of couples lying on the bed. Jake is going to befriend the vulture, so he lays off of us. It's true. I'm going to bro down with him. To lay off someone or something. To lay off means to stop doing something that's annoying someone. In the scene, Jake decides to befriend the vulture, his captain, so that he can stop doing annoying things to them. Example, lay off, I'm trying to study. To stay off complaining for a minute. To pro down. This is a slang term for male bonding, when male friends hang out or get together. Example, I totally pro down with my sister's boyfriend at the wedding last weekend. If everything goes according to plan, we should be beer pong doubles partners by the end of the week. Beer pong. A drinking game in which players attempt to throw or hit table tennis balls into cups of beer and their opponents are required to drink the contents of any cup in which a ball lands. Doubles partners. This is used to indicate the partner with whom you play against two other people. It also could mean a gay couple, but it mostly used in the context of tennis or games like beer pong here. I'm going full douche. I'm going full douche. This sentence means I'm done trying to be polite to someone. I'm going to respond equally aggressively or intensively. In the scene, Jake means he will try his best to befriend the vulture and he will do it energetically and intensively. Now let's move on to the final part. Let's watch the scene without subtitles and test your understanding. We accidentally startled a man with a genetic heart condition. If you really think about it, his parents killed him. All right, whatever. Look, there's a horse race going off in Dubai. I got serious money on it. Dismissed. Uh, yeah, we should all check out that race. God, he is the worst captain we've ever had. He drew boobies on my bulletproof vest. He stared at me for 90 seconds while he ate an entire peach. He heard that I speak Spanish and he made me fire his housekeeper. She was Polish. At least he doesn't practice his crane kicks with you. <laughs> Oh, said not to move. I didn't move. Listen, guys, Jake and I were talking last night. Hello, talk alert. Set the scene. Spooning or face to face? Charles. Spooning. Anyway, we came up with a plan. Jake is going to 
befriend the vulture, so he lays off of us. It's true. I'm gonna bro down with him. If everything goes according to plan, we should be beer pong doubles partners by the end of the week. Now somebody give me a puka shell necklace. I'm going full douche.